what we're going to look at in this video is something called space before and then we're going to look at something called space after. Now this is a such a great technology used inside of InDesign. It makes paragraph editing so much easier. If you've ever been uh, typing a paper and you've had to do something like this, return, return, return. Ah, I like that. I'm going to go to this one, return, return, return. I like that space. And then what if I had to edit it? I'd have to go in each one and delete those. Wow, man, what a pain. So let's look at what InDesign has done to kind of change how that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this paragraph that's here. And I'm going to say at the return of this paragraph, as soon as I hit a hard return, which is just hitting the return key, I want there to be a space, right? So I'm going to put this space and you can see what it's doing. It's putting a space after, in this case, it's a quarter of an inch, 0.25. So anytime I would hit return here, I'd get a hard return. Now, what's nice about that is let's just put a bunch of returns in here. I can now select all this and say, you know what? That was too much. Let's make it smaller. And I can just adjust it on the fly, which is so great. Okay. So what then is a space before? Well, if this is putting a space after my return, this is putting a space before my return. So it's putting it from the top of the paragraph going forward. Now, I find that mentally confusing and why I would do that, I don't know. I just use space after, but let me just show you because it's there. So we're gonna add it and you can see it's going from the top instead of actually after the paragraph return, it's actually doing it before the paragraph return, okay? So one of the things, I'm just going to select all of this and we're going to do 0.125 on all of them. What if I wanted to return something, but I don't want to have it go like this, right? For whatever reason, a lot of times if it's, if I'm adjusting, like if I wanted to make this paragraph and I wanted the word Latin to just move down to the next line, but I didn't want it in a new paragraph. If I hold shift return down, it allows me to make that go to the next line. Right, so it goes to the next line. Let's select all of this. Let's do single line composer. And I say, you know what? I want Latin to go to the next line and there it goes. And it doesn't pay attention to any of the hard returns that I put in. Just a little trick kind of going forward with this. Right, so the difference between hard returns and soft return. If I want to look at that in, a, in my um, hidden characters, what that looks like, a hard return is this paragraph. A soft return is this little L on its side kind of looking thing, right? So just the difference of how you can kind of deal with space before and space after. It's a really great thing to use inside of InDesign. Um, so please, um, please use it, right?